is where you want to go. Hi, I'm the Amastorian and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about some uh, of the weaponry in Rick Ryden's book series. Uh, namely about different weapons and we're gonna start with uh, Jason Grace's sword uh, slash pilum. Uh, it's a Roman gladius that transforms into a Roman pilum. And this, I think, could be very, very useful in combat. Now, we're gonna l have a look at s and see what could happen then. Remember that uh, uh, when you fight with a weapon, you're gonna do it at the optimal uh, reach uh, distance <laughs> for your weapon. If you can change your reach without your enemy knowing it, you're gonna have a huge advantage. That's why I think this transformation would be a very useful thing in combat. The second one is Thalia Grace and Percy Jackson's shields, which actually transforms the other one, one from a bracelet, the other one from a wristwatch, into a shield. Now I don't have a strapped shield so I'm gonna use uh, center boss shields, center grip. But if you don't have it and then it's just there. Boom! That's gonna be a huge <laughs> advantage. Mainly because you can carry it with, it with you without any at all problem even bigger advantage if you got a big shield and boom it's just there that's a big advantage now uh, Samira Alabas uses an axe that comes back to her when she throws it kind of like uh, Thor's Mjölner uh, and Blitzen actually can expand mater materials he does this with a metal duck uh, and if you can throw it boom and it comes back that's great because you haven't lost your weapon and we do it again boom gone and it comes back boom now if you can choose your length of your weapon and size of it you can easily uh, carry it around you don't have to carry around a big axe you can just choose the small one to carry and but a small one is just not that practical to use in a fight you want a longer one that you can reach with and then it's gonna be very useful to actually choose your size even better if it's a big one the bigger the axe the bigger the punch okay so this is why you want this feature to actually just be able to change the size it's not a big change just <laughs> or rather yeah it's a big change because it changes the length where you can throw it or use it yeah, sometimes you gotta show off a bit. The only character in this book series that uses firearms is uh, Thomas Jefferson Jr. Hallmate to Magnus Chase in Hotel Valhalla. Although, uh, uh, Annabeth Chase offers Piper McLean a Mossberg 500 and Annabeth's father, Professor, Ch Professor Chase, has invented a, a, a fire barrel and ammunition for a uh, machine gun for a sup with camel uh, airplane. So he can use this, he uses this in, in one of the books 
uh, I think the uh, Titan's Curse, yeah. And, but still, no one else uses firearms. Wouldn't that be most obvious for everyone to use? If you got the ability to get better equipment, better weapons, why not use it? But still, in these books, no one uses firearms. Only one villain and TJ are the only ones who uses any kind of firearm. And TJ's firearm is a basically a musket. It's so bad, <laughs> it's, he has only three bullets a minute fire rate. And that's after about 200 years in Valhalla where he could have upgraded his equipment <laughs> many, many, many times over. If it just had... Maybe, I don't know, what, what uh, made him stay stick with this but come on he's preparing for Ragnarok where he's supposed to march out and die in this enormous battle come on you're not gonna stick around with a musket when there is guys running around in Valhalla vi with automatic rifles there is technology for it in the book series but no one uses it why? That is just stupid. Why not if equip everyone with a with a handgun and a rifle? That would be and also give them the other stuff, uh, axe or sword or spear or so on. That would have been, in my opinion, useful and logical. But not to have any firearm. That is not very useful, not, not even very logical. Give me your comments on this and see what I and uh, see what you think about it so I can see what you think about it, okay? Uh, and nowadays I'm on the Facebook as well. I'm gonna link it below and so you can check me out on Facebook and on YouTube. And it's the Amazon on both. Like and subscribe. Bye bye. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe.